Hello again, Honky Tonks. I'm still on holiday somewhere in Yorkshire and I'm having a cracking time. This social media detox has done me the world of good. However, I thought I'd give you my thoughts on the baby killer, Lucy Letby, while the story is still relevant and it's very relevant. It's relevant to anyone who's a parent, as am I. Now, I remember the first time I became a parent with my lovely daughters and I remember how teeny they were and how defenceless and how much I loved them unconditionally. And I remember thinking if anything or anyone posed a danger to them, then I would, without any hesitation, use their mother as a human shield to protect them. Of course, nobody's saying indecent attacks babies and kids and the type of people who do. They're in a dark place. Now, I'm not defending Lucy Letby. No way would I do that. However, talking about her with my other half... She said to me something which I've never thought of before, even though I was a prison officer in my former career and I dealt with such people. And she said, I wonder what happened to her in her life to make her do this. Yes, okay, some people have had a very hard and harsh, unforgiving, unfair life, but it doesn't give you the excuse to do this to the most defenceless beings on this planet. But of course she's right. Something must have happened to Lucy Letby for her to do such Uh, such an inhumane and unforgivable act. And then we talked about the death sentence, which has been abolished in this country since, I believe, the 1950s or early 60s. Correct me in the comments. Now, at first, being a conservative, I was all for capital punishment. However, I also know through my career as a prison officer, stories would trickle down through prisons. And Ian Huntley, one of the uh, despicable Moors murderers, He begged to die. He wanted that release. And so it was good, really, that the state kept him alive and kept him in misery for as long as possible. Because these people, people like Lucy Letby, the Moors murderers and others who have had uh, whole life tariffs, they all crave for death. It's the only way they'll get a release, and we should deny them that. Think about it. Getting executed, it's the end of their existence. They suffer no more. But we as a society, we get that satisfaction for just a little while of ending their lives. And that's the difference. Our celebration and feeling good is fleeting. But the end of their suffering and their longing to die, it's, it's forever. It's, it's, it's happened. They suffer no more. So in a way, in a weird, gruesome way, they win. Now, I've argued before during debates regarding the death sentence... And the reason it was abolished, because we have bent coppers in this country, corrupt policemen, who in the past sent innocent men and women to the gallows, knowing full well they were innocent. For example, the poor Welsh guy who was executed wrongly for the murder of his wife and daughter, whilst there were tenants at 10 Rillington Place. The guy was innocent, and yet, as was written on his court file, the law must take its course. And so an innocent man lost his life. And then you have the guy who was uh, just last month or earlier this month, he was released after 17 years in jail for an alleged rape that he didn't commit. And the reason he spent more years in jail was because he pleaded his innocence and the police and the CPS knew full well the guy was innocent. They had the evidence to prove it. But because we have corrupt people in authority, etc., who can't do their jobs of catching the real killers, the real criminals, the real perpetrators... It is a fact they will fit other people up, innocent people up, and bang them away. Or in the worst case scenario, when we had the death penalty, they sent them to the gallows. So in my opinion, Lucy Letby should be made to live a long, miserable life in prison behind bars. And the NHS managers who hampered the investigations, they should be investigated too. And as for race baiters like Dr Shola Moss, as ever on social media using the deaths, the horrible murder of seven babies to help her own uh, race-baiting agenda is just disgusting. The Lucy Letby case was never about race. It was just a fucked-up woman with a sadistic penchant for harming little babies, and that's it. Her skin colour doesn't matter, their skin colour doesn't matter. And it's just one big, sorry, sad tale indeed. And there we go, that's my video. Hope you like. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And my next video is coming out on Wednesday. Now, those of you who come on here and said you're taking a break from a break. All my videos since Saturday, apart from this one, and continuing until this Saturday, they're all pre-recorded. 
they have all been uploaded and scheduled like I did mention in my uh, I'm taking a break video so please pay attention however I've made a special case for this Lucy Letby horror story and there we go I'll see you all next week and until the next time Roger Trout